Hi all, welcome to my channel. My name is Megha Narang and today I am going to show you how we can use show hide button to toggle or to switch between sheets in Tableau dashboard. Now before we begin, let me give you a little bit of background here. Switching between sheets or views using toggle button can be done using different methods in Tableau. And the most common way through which we uh, have been doing this is by using parameters. However, there are certain limitations to it. For example, if you want to show a filter for one sheet, let's say, that is not applied on the other sheet or view, like we can see here, we have a filter for sales by product and category that is only applied to this sheet, whereas we do not have any filter here. So that becomes a little bit challenging when we uh, apply a toggle button using parameter whereas with show or hide button we can do that quickly now without further delay let's see how we can recreate the similar view we have on the screen the data that i'm using today is sample superstore data which i've already connected in tableau and let's quickly recreate the sample charts that we have in our view so these are very simple views that I'm going to show you as an example. So the very first chart that we have is sales by geography. Now to recreate this chart, we just have to drag state on detail and sales on color. And that's it. So the very first view has been created and let's just rename the title as sales by geography I'm going to format it a little bit And that's how we create sales by geography I've already created it so I'm not going to save the sheet the other chart that we have is sales by product and category in order to create this bar chart we just have to drag product name on rows shelf as of now let's add all members and then sales on columns let's sort it now we see that there are a lot of uh, products let's just add labels onto it and then we have category because we want to show them by category and put that on filters let's select all for now show filter still we see that there are a uh, lot of uh, products by a single category so in order to minimize the number of products what I'm going to do is just filter it by top 10 by sales and apply context add to context and category filter so that the category filter is applied before product name let me just make it single value drop down so here we have our second view ready and after doing a little bit of formatting here we this is how it would look like so this is the second view that we have ready for us once the charts are ready we will now bring these sheets to the dashboard in order to do that let's first drag a vertical container on to the view and then I'll add a blank object on top of the vertical container. This blank object is where we will place our toggle button image. Now select the container and drag our uh, first view or first sheet that is sales by geography onto this container. Let's convert this sales to floating 
and move into top of the sheet. So our very first view is ready. Once we have our first sheet on the dashboard, we will bring the second sheet and to achieve on top of the first sheet to achieve that sheet swapping illusion. To do that, we will first bring the floating container on top of the existing view. Here, uh, once we bring a floating container, I'm choosing a vertical one. And once we bring that container on to top of our sheet, make sure that the dimensions of the first sheet matches with the dimensions of the floating container that we have. So here, can see it's 8128 984 and 664 so now we both we have both the sheets of the same size or containers of the same size the second step is that we see on the top of this container we uh, there's this drop down arrow, select onto that and click on add show height button. A button or a cross button would appear, which we drag on to top, which will act as our toggle image. Now, once we have this container on top of our first sheet, let me just make it as the color of the the background as the color of the dashboard that we have here in this case we have white so that matches with the background and let's just drag the second sheet that we have that is sales by product and category onto our view so to do that let's press shift and drag it to the container because we want filters also the category filter also to be added on to this only this particular killer view so I'll just keep this vertical container selected and again press shift and release it here make sure that this is part of the existing container that we have so we have our category filter added on to our existing vertical, vertical container that we have for the sheet. The next step is I don't want this title to be here whereas I want the title to be on top of the filter. So that's pretty simple just drag text again press shift key and drag on top of the category filter and release now we will just name this and we'll try to keep the formatting matching with what we have for our previous view Now if you click on to this image and press alt select for windows or options and select for Mac you would see that we can see both the views being swapped or being toggled. Now the next step that we have let me just remove the title from here. The next step that we have is to just replace this images with the toggle images that we want to use it for our these two charts here I have saved a few toggle images on my desktop which I will bring onto my view and replace them with the existing images so right click edit button 
the very first view that we have is sales by product and category in my case i just have simple toggle buttons that i'm going to use so just doesn't matter which image but it's totally up to you what what kind of image you want to use as a toggle and click apply okay and if we go to the full view you can see that the toggle button is working all these filters are working only for a specific sheet and that's it this is how we use show hide feature to swap between sheets if you find this technique helpful please don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thank you